baits and make a dent. That's for sure. Good morning, guys. Slick, calm day. Me, Charlie, Vic, and Sarah on the bait boat. We're heading offshore. Blackfin tuna and swordfish on the target. We absolutely crushed the bait there, the second throw. First one, we only got a few, but uh, we're good to go there. We're going fishing. We'll see you guys out there. Beautiful day here in Alamorada. This is why we live here. Mm. Yep, put them all in there. I just think they're too. There's gonna be too many, all right? Got his buoy, so we had to borrow one from Contagious. Thanks, Brian. Hopefully, we're gonna catch a moose. He said this is his good luck buoy, though. He caught his big swordfish on it. But for now, we're tuna fishing. Got him on first cast. Come on, Vic, get a bite. You got a shark. Getting bigger. He's getting bigger. Throwing them live baits at you guys. You want more? Tuna. Tuna. We got tuna. Hot tuna. There you go. Get him. Give him good. Good if you want to try to go grab a rod too whenever. I'll let this uh, Thompson play out. Watch out, Vic. Swing them in. Go. Just like the shooter to me. Yeah, let's get That's a good one. We take them. Tuna, guys. Tuna Zilla. Not hooked by much. Swing them in, Vic. Don't bounce them. There you go. Don't, Don't lose them. Vic, that's a bite, ain't it? Yeah, just now. Get him, dog. Oh, Jesus. Good job. Nick's been tangling everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is going down on me. That's Get him, Cracker. You want to cush it? Quad. Hooked up. Quad header. Quadruple. Oh, down to three. Oh. Here comes Charlie's. Fish. Nice medium fall. Football black fin. That's a nice one. We'll take them. Right there, guys. Black fin tuna off Alamorada. That'll work. Come on down here to Bottom Major to get some. <laughs> Jump, nice job, Charlie. Vic's got on a big one, you guys. Biggest one of the day. Vic's getting whooped. Well, he ain't playing. I don't want to mess with him. Nice. Black spin tuna for Vic. Oh, there. Uh, Good job, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Charlie, what are you doing? Living the dream is what I'm doing. Big gaming on the bay boat. I think we have a big head on here. It could be a nice tuna we head. Got a big shark, or oh, I'm sorry, big tuna head on here. The shark took the rest of it. This right. is actually Vic's chair. This is not my chair. I'm just borrowing it because <laughs> there's nothing but straight weight on this. And that's no fun. He's about 200 yards away. <sighs> we'll check back. Anyhow, I've got a nice round of the tuna there, you guys. We're going to ice these down, glide them all, get them buried in here, and. Uh, just cover them up with ice the best we can. And we'll be good, you guys. Did he grab it again? He did. You're gonna need a bigger boat. The shark grabbed it again. And it's got a brown. We had him coming and then he started pulling on it again. I think we just reeled up all the slack that was out so far. <laughs> Might have. Yeah, but now he's thumping it. It was just ahead. Hopefully that's go, but we want to see this thing. Gaming fish, eh? Marlin. <laughs> Stingray, why don't you tell me my business again, Mr. Hooper? Hooper drives the boat, Chief. <laughs> We're gonna see it soon. There he is. Big tuna of a sh. <sighs> Hang on, that's a big tuna, guys. Get the gap, get the gap. That is a giant tuna. Just a giant tuna. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stand up, Charlie. 
Big tuna, you guys. We thought a shark had them. Well, We're trying to break them up. Well, and it's a big tuna. Oh, God. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Get him, sir. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you guys, we thought we had a shark and we're trying to break him off. Oh, nice God. and easy, nice and easy. Oh, this is you. Get him, sir. That's you. Get him, sir. That's you. Oh, my gosh. Don't be this I couldn't get him. Get his head up. Just do a small oh. circle. I'm like, slowly add a little extra pressure. There you go. Right in the head, sir. There you go. Big tuna. Get Jumbo a, black fish. Nice. That's 25 Tom plus. Brown. Might be 27, 28. Nice job. Like that. Look at that Gotta tuna there. Up. I'm a little tired, but I think I got room for another yeah. one. Good job, really, when I was trying to down. break him up, I thought it was a shark. I was just cranking on him like it was some with dead lead. Look at that tuna there. You got that is a big black fin. Oh, yeah, beauty. Nice job. That's at least 20 pounds. Oh, he's more than that cracker. <laughs> That's a cracker 40. Not a shark ate him. I did too. We're trying to break him off. Nice tuna. That is a jumbo blackfin tuna. Only in Isla Mirada you're gonna get them like that. Oh, spinning rod. Slick calm on the bay boat. Ooh, my back hurts. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. It is That'll taco I'll make Tuesday. tuna tacos if I ever saw some. Let's well, get this thing on ice. Tacos. So we caught our tunas on the hump. Last one was a really big one. It was a nice one. Charlie got, Vic got a bonus mahi. And we're gonna try to catch a swordfish now on the X3. Two rods going. We're gonna try to hand crank them today. Charlie's gonna line out a dolphin belly on that one. And I'm gonna fix the biggest strip on mine. All right, Charlie, go ahead. Yeah. With a little bit of luck, we'll catch the swordfish today. Let's see what happens. That's deep, 1,600 feet of water. We're just marking bottom, just barely on this machine. So, here we go. That's our sinker, you guys. Right there, big old sinker to get down there deep. Here we go. Put her in the hole there. Looks like we might have one on the buoy, you guys. You can see it kind of laying sideways there, not positive, but we're gonna bring it in and check it out and see it. It's definitely laying sideways. Hopefully he's swimming up with a bait. We got these motors that snap on and off from Hooker Electric. All right, let's see what happens there. We got this rod set up here. No action yet, Vic's watching on the right. Any yes, bites sir. there, not Making yet? sure, nothing yet. All right, keep an eye on it. Let's see what happens. We're gonna bring it in, just check it out and see. We'll find out. That's a big buoy. It's a big float. Could be a big fish. There ain't no way this is. Eight pounds of lead scope like that. What do you think? I think he's swimming up and scoping up with it. I mean, unless the lead broke off, but it's scoped way up, so hopefully he's on there. What do you think, Charlie? I think we got a shot. We're on a bay boat. If you're on a bay boat, you got a shot. Yeah, we're like stealth mode. They can't even see us or hear us. We're on 25 feet. Crazy. That is a lot of slack. That line was way down. They're going for the chair, Cracker. Ah, uh, so comfy. Ugh. Yeah, I don't, that's the, I don't know if that's the best angle. That's what we got. Yeah. <laughs> we are hooked up in the chair, you guys. Charlie's in the chair fighting him now. We had the electric motor on it for a few minutes. We're clearing the front rod. We're bringing this one in now. I think it's a swordfish, so fingers crossed he stays on there. It's a very awkward fighting position. Yeah. But we're gonna do the best we can because that's just what we do out here. Would you rather be standing up? No. <laughs> right answer. Oh, if it was just the fish, it wouldn't be a problem, but with the lead, he's definitely shaking his head down there. Oh yeah, look at that. And we will check back later. Oh. Oh. All right, here's our ledge, you guys. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. Crank, 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 crank. Come on.
There he is. That's a nice one. He's like 80, 100 pounds. Other side. We got him, guys. First drop swordfish on a bay boat. Holy hell. Me and Charlie and Vic. That was easy. First drop. That's it. First that's drop on the X3. That's, second, on the that's our second bay boat swordfish. Right. That's crazy. Enough, Vic. Whoa. That First drop on the bay boat, a swordfish. Vic, what you think about that? that this is what we do. Is your mind blown? Ain't no better. That is thing. awesome. Look at the color in this I fish. Oh my! Look how bright he is. That is one of the that is one of the smallest one I've ever caught. We're gonna let him go though. You mean to tell me you couldn't shoot that? You were in the water the whole time. Big had to catch it. You were in the water the whole time. We're gonna let him go, you guys. Ready? One, two, three. Swim. Be free, buddy. There. First wahoo on the new boat, guys. It works small. He won't even grab it. Comment below if any of you think you could have shot that you with a gun. You couldn't shoot that. <laughs> Ain't no way you can hit that. Sarah. They were all that size. <laughs> Got him on Wahoo no, on no, the no, Wahoo no, on the debris, no, guys. Sure. <laughs> I think I saw a little one. Ooh, get that workout in. This is a new pen authority, you guys. Oh, They're getting yeah. smaller. Shoot that one. Look how small it is. The Wahoo are getting smaller. You can't shoot that one. That is there you go. That's not gonna happen. That is cool. Now these still got really sharp teeth, so you gotta be careful, but. That is a cool Oahu. Look at the stripes them. We're gonna let them go. Get one more, Nick. Get one more down there. One more. The one, I think. How many were down? <laughs> How many were down there? Yeah, no it was like ten, but they're all like that big. I shot at the biggest one, which I think he caught, which was a foot, maybe twelve inches. A whole <laughs> foot. Smallest one I ever caught. That was tiny. All right, at least we got a couple. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I'm just relaxing. I'm understanding this area of what we do here. What are you trying to do now? You need a lobster. A couple lobsters to go with the two new swordfish? Yeah. Here's my gloves. Don't worry about them getting it. They don't hurt. That's still pretty clean. Yeah. Vic, you think you're going to get a couple? I don't know. I got my bug master right there trying to do what she's supposed to do. But if she can't figure it out, I don't know what to do. But I got backup up here. Charlie Brown. I forgot how to swim. <laughs> oh, Charlie Brown. Forgot, Charlie Brown forgot how to swim for it. <laughs> so we're gonna make Sarah catch our groceries. Does, this does, is Rob, our, does Rob have any game? No, his no, game no. is out of gas, and I got two back people up to make him uh, uh, dive her down. Dive her down. Is it legal? Of course it's legal. Hey, oh, I ain't wasting time dollar. on short ones. I got my dollar. Don't come up show. No, he's legal. All right, Charlie Brown, pick up the lobster. Vic's hat blew off, and he took mine. The mullet protects the back of the neck, but the forward ain't protected. Sarah went down and caught a lobster first dive, and you should get it. Bob and go. Two more. Let's go, girl. I think a big lobster's on the run from her. She might have came out of the hole there. 
It's a big one. What a way to end the day, huh? Yeah. Go get that lobster. Did you get one? Did you get him? Bug Phillip. Did I keep her? He looked a lot bigger when he was running. <laughs> oh, oh. Good job, Sarah. All right. We're going to metal gauge yet. Oh, but it's not the Sarah just got the second keeper. She's doing good. I take care of the swordfish. She takes care of the lobster. And we're in good shape, so. Charlie, Vic, me, Sarah. We're going to be eating good tonight. Lobster, tuna, and swordfish. We even got porpoise out here. See so Con catch lobster, and there's a couple porpoise over here swimming by. I was trying to eat my orange. I just and remembered on this one to turn my GoPro on. What? <laughs> I didn't video the other two. <laughs> That's a big one there. Oh, yeah. one. That's yeah, a big one there. That one? Oh, no, oh, he's good. I'm measuring him. Uh, wow. Oh, purplezilla. Come back oh, here and yeah. see your people. Captain Nikki and Captain Sarita. You want to have a look? Oh, I guess. Look you eat tunas? Look at that tuna, no? huh? Yeah. You guys want tunas or no? Yeah, yeah. You guys eat these? Can you clean them or no? No, it's okay. It's like that? I don't right. want them too or no? Oh, yeah. I want eat them too or no? Edwin, <laughs> you want tuna too or no? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look. I cook it right now. Perfect. Okay, oh. okay he got a knife or no? Well, he, got it. Got, it. Oh, okay, he got it. Oh, he, he got, got it. it. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Vic pushing that cart. You gotta roll this thing. Oh, gotta yeah. roll with it. <laughs> so we give Francisco and Edwin a few tunas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, They've been here a long time way. working and uh, Made my crew happy. we're keeping them happy. So they Vic caught them, so we give them to them. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. That's Vic's crew. Yeah. Vic went fishing and they stayed here working. <laughs> yeah, whatever. They got fed. That is We're true. We're good. They got fed. We got good. So we got a lot of fish to choose from. We got tuna, we got mahi, we got swordfish, we got lobster. But I'm gonna clean a little bit of everything and take it home and see what the girls wanna eat. Sadie loves swordfish, it's all she talks about. But I can't turn down fresh tuna, so. I'm gonna do the big black fin first. We gave some away. We got plenty for me to have some, you know, me and Sarah, Vic, Charlie, and all that good stuff, so. Mission accomplished. First drop with the swordfish was nice too. But there's a nice big black fin here. I thought it was a shark. I was really surprised when that tuna popped up. I thought it was a tuna to start a shark ate him, but nope, just a nice big black fin the whole time. And we had him out there swimming along for a while and just leaving him out there. If I would have known, you know, we would have worked on him sooner, but we didn't know. That is a fresh black fin tuna line right there. Let's see. Let's Show you this side here, and I'll probably show the swordfish and the lobsters. You guys kind of know how we clean those, whether we do them whole or just ring them. But uh, that just goes to show you, you don't need a big boat. I love my Freeman and all that, but you know, you could take it. That's a 25 foot bay boat. You got to play the weather right, but the weather was absolutely perfect, and it was a lot of fun out there today on that. We've been waiting to do that for a few months. We just haven't been able to get out there when the weather's been calm enough and all that, but we went today and uh, we had fun, so. Time to fillet the swordfish. We did all the tunas. And this is just, you know, this is like an average size swordfish, about 70 pounds. Most of our fish are 50 to 150. You know, so 75 to 100 pounds kind of average. He's probably 75, maybe 75, 70, 75 pounds. But good eating. They gotta be 47 inches to keep. He's probably 54 inches lower jaw to the fork of the tail. Aww. Sarah was hoping for a pumpkin, but no. I don't think it's a pumpkin. And what we did when we caught that fish to keep him cold, you guys, 
we put a towel around them with cold water on it kept dumping on there because these fish come out of freezing cold water he was down 1500 feet that water is cold down there and um so he comes up chilly and we were out there for a couple more hours but we kept him wet kept on the cold water out of the fish box on him because we didn't want him to spoil and if you had a fish bag you know, that'd be better but we didn't have it today i thought it was on the boat on my freeman and it was not there but uh this is going to be really good. And Sadie loves swordfish. She's been talking about it a lot lately. And uh, I know she's going to be excited when we bring her some home. But there's one line. Let me just show you doing this other top half. And a swordfish is easy to fillet. They cut real easy. And uh, just got to get over that spine, you know, over the backbone there. And we'll try to do it without cutting into his uh, stomach. Because we don't want to get the juice over if we can help it. But, uh... I know Vic had fun. He's excited. Charlie had fun. Sarah gave some the lobster. Charlie eat dinner. It went good though. So there we go, you guys. That's the slab of swordfish. That's gonna be good steaks. And we're probably gonna cook some of this up, some of the tuna up, and we'll see you guys back at the house. to have Charlie's famous tuna nachos. Um, we've been getting it all prepped. Not really we, he. This is the blackfin tuna. Last night we grilled swordfish. It was delicious. Put on a cedar plank. Super good. I've been eating tuna a couple days in a row as well. But these are Charlie's tuna nachos. He's going to tell you what's deal. inside of them and uh, kind of show you the ingredients that go into it all and you guys can get to see how it turns out. So blackfin tuna is one of the most underrated tunas there are. This stuff is great. And what we're doing for tuna nachos is giving it a little bit of flavor. We got some fresh blackfin here. We put a little sesame oil in there. We got some ponzu sauce, some black sesame seeds, some white sesame seeds. Underneath the base of this, we have some seaweed salad, some edamame, and the critical ingredient which Nick has never had before. First time. Wonton chips. This is the real deal. This is the Hawaiian Hilo Hawaii wonton chip. This was the original tuna nacho chip. If you haven't had these, you can get them pretty much anywhere. Except online. in the keys. Except exactly. in the keys. Yeah. It's not in the keys. <laughs> so. We special ordered these specifically for this project. It's going to be delicious. They have a really nice flavor to them. They're extra crispy. Charlie, is that you on the front of those cafes? It used to be back when I was in my Hawaiian bodybuilder days in the 1930s. But unfortunately for now, I'm reduced to making tuna nachos. We had chopped up organic seaweed snacks. What is that, like a seaweed wrap you'd call it? It's like, it's like nori, you know, it's what you use to make normal yeah. sushi, but it's very tasty. We got this chopped up right here. What is that? We got some scallions. Some scallions there, got an avocado there, cucumber over there. Got a little fresh lime, and this is some mango. Oh, some diced mango. A little mango goes a long way. And that's the ponzu sauce, a little bit of sesame oil mixed in there with the tuna as well. This is going to be a feast, you guys. This is going to be a tuna nacho platter to remember. And it's pretty healthy, which on top of it makes it extra nice, I think. You know, that heavy, greasy cheese, right? This is just real deal Florida Keys style. That's Hawaiian style nachos, but we're going to do, you know, the real deal. Let's get in there. You guys don't have any utensils. <laughs> Time has come. Chopstick Charlie's ready. It's tuna nachos. Everybody knows you got to have Flavor so intense the chopsticks are steel. <laughs> Anything else? To eat with. Is this no. finger food? Or yeah, like, I'm just, finger food. We're just gonna eat it. Really wash my hands. Hey, what do you think about these? Uh, what do you think about these shishito peppers? Uh, they had a little spice to them in a couple of them. So, That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, that They're is a the ladder there. there. Cheers, big tuna. Tuna nachos. Tuna nachos. <laughs> tuna nachos. Sake in a can. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now the question is, are they good and they're, are they edible? So good. I hope they're, I hope they're edible. We put in a lot of work here. Are they good, Sarah? Yeah. Very good? Mm -hmm. Describe the flavor. Describe the flavor mm -hmm. for the people. Okay. 
She's at a loss for words. Only because I ate one of those peppers that <laughs> she was lost killed taste my buds. taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> it said mild on the bag. No, I've said it many times. Like, black fin tuna is very underrated for sushi fish. People scoff at it, and they shouldn't because it's really good quality sushi if you bleed the fish out and prep it correctly and let it rest for a day which, or two, which we have. It's really good sushi, like great. You, wouldn't, you can't tell the difference between this and yellowfin. The average person can't, if you ask me. I agree. So, everybody should eat more black fin tuna for sushi. Agreed. What do you think, Alex? Good? It is delicious. You approve delicious. it? Citrusy, salty, All, the, all the flavors. Cheers. Good job, Charlie. Are you impressed with it? Turn out good? I'm really excited about this. Tuna nachos happens to be one of my favorite things in the world. And this is the real deal. We got the nori, we got the mango, mm -hmm. we got the scallion, we got the absolutely amazing blackfin tuna with the sesame oil and the ponzu sauce, and the Hilo wonton chips. It is true. Wonton That's chips. Around. If you don't know about wonton chips, Mabo's wonton chips, you're you're just not living. And sometimes we forget to mention that you have a YouTube channel. If someone wants to watch some of your videos, what's the channel name? I would love for you guys to come by and check out Bonafide World Guide. I put all of my antics across the globe on that channel, and man, I do my best to share the world. His last video was say? really funny. So go check it out, right? Yeah, the last video is the best. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I gotta try some of this. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. Come on, Nick, get in there. I'm gonna get me some of these tuna nachos up in here. And we did wash our hands, so everything's kind of clean. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything on there, so. He ate it, ladies. He ate it, ladies and gentlemen. Like, he did it. Well, is it the best tuna nacho you've ever had? That's what it is really good. You know, I haven't <laughs> had tuna nachos a lot, but it's actually delicious. I actually really like the mango on there. Like you mentioned the citrus and taste the ponzu sauce and all that stuff. So, I think we're gonna get back here. But what was really cool about that day, you guys, we were on a 25-foot bay boat, the Shallow Sport X3. We don't need a big, giant boat to go offshore and have fun, but you do have to pick your days. The weather's got to be nice. It has to be good. On the way home, we caught lobster. Well, not we. Sarah caught three lobsters. Charlie and them took a couple. We took one, cooked it on the grill. It was delicious. And now we're having a feast. And, uh, you know, just if you're going on a small boat offshore, just pick the weather days, you know, make sure the weather's good. And I think that's all we got for you. I'm getting back to eating tuna nachos. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, head to the website, stansfishing.com. We've got shirts on there, we've got hats, some new stuff coming out as well. Claire is making a lot of noise. <laughs> Maybe we'll give her a little uh, camera time there. The fish tank's still over on the side of the house here. We have not got to make many videos catching fish for it yet. Hopefully we'll still get out there the next month and make a couple videos, get some critters in there, but we've just been so busy. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we we'll see you down here in Almorada. Say bye. Show us your mullet. Oh yeah, the mullet's coming in good, you guys. So. Comment below if you think Nick should keep the mullet or... Should I keep the mullet or should we get rid of it? Comment below, let us know. And we're going to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, October 26th through 30th. So if you're in town there in South Florida, stop on by and see us. We're gonna have a booth there and uh, we'll love to, love to meet some of you guys. So we'll see you then. I'm getting back to tuna nachos. Claire, tuna nacho time. it's tuna nacho time. Mm -hmm. I think I need a fork. Is it good, Claire? It, it is. is. Shovel. <laughs> yeah. It's delicious. Larry, you like it? I'm gonna go from the other side like this. Mm. Grab. Oh.